Today we are taking a look at NVIDIA NIMS, so these are three points I've put up. We're gonna take a quick look at the NVIDIA API catalog. What is NVIDIA NIM and how can you deploy NVIDIA NIM? If you go into our first slide here, you can see we have some advantages of using NVIDIA NIM versus doing it yourself. Uh, who is this for? I would say it's for uh, engineers, it's for enterprises, but also for hobbyists that want to optimize their AI into production if they have some kind of hobby project they want to work on. So you can see the deployment type should be very good. So yeah, they say up to one week doing it yourself. I guess that varies, but uh, it's very quick to deploy NVIDIA NIM, as you will see later in this video. I really like the API standardization they have done there, because on my channel we have used OpenAI standardization API for a long time, and we can kind of build that onto our previous script. We have some great pre-built engines here, that could be like Mistral 7B, Llama 3, 70B, so we a lot of different models to pick from, as you will see in the API catalog coming up. And a lot of other great advantages here. They now support uh, LoRa adapters too, that's interesting, right? And with the enterprise support, you get a lot of security around your uh, container, right? So yeah, like I said, this NVIDIA NIM kind of streamlines the path to production because they wanted to make this very easy for enterprises, engineers, like I said, and to just deploy AI or Gen AI into production. That is kind of the idea behind this. So you get the speed time to market down, you can get good accuracy, you can swap out models using this in industry standard APIs, right? You can deploy this anywhere, it's gonna be on the server, in the cloud, or in your local machine. So yeah, pretty interesting concept, and after I tried it, yeah, I'm a big fan of this. But now let's head over to the NVIDIA API catalog, and yeah, let's take a quick look at what kind of models you can pick for your NIM. To get to the API catalog, you just have to go to build.nvidia.com, right? Sign up there, and then you can get a big overview of what kind of models are available for this. So if we take a look at reasoning models here, this is basically LLMs, right? And yeah, you can see Llama 370B, Mixtral 8 times 7 b Mistral Large, Gemma 7B. We have some fresh off the press. I actually think we have the Nemotron 340B Instruct here. What's interesting, they have synthetic data generation. What I wanted to show you is something, you can see they have these tags that says run anywhere, right? And these are available for NIMS now. So if we click into Llama 370B here, uh, we have the playground, so you can test it out here, right? And they will be adding new models that you can add to your NIM, I think weekly or something. And they will be, of course, adding all the new models. So yeah, we can test it out in the playground here. We can copy the code if we wanted to run it that way. We can click here to get an API key. And if you see in the top corner here, we have something called Download NIM. So if we click on that, you can see we come to this page here. And here you can kind of see uh, the specs for uh, the NIMs, right? And you get a container here. So very intuitive to get started with this NIM just from this API catalog, right? But now let's take a look at the video together that kind of explains a bit more into what is exactly a NIM. And to do that, I just wanted to watch this video here from NVIDIA developers because, yeah, it's a bit boring me talking all the time. So let's just watch this video together. I might make some comments and stuff, but yeah, let's just fire it up and have a listen here. Generative AI is a game changer. Across every industry, more and more organizations are looking to roll out new applications that drive efficiencies, productivity, and revenue for their business. But to power generative AI in production, organizations need to consider security, latency and efficiency, flexibility, and how to- Yeah, just a quick mention that, like, I've been thinking, like, if you're actually gonna use Gen AI in production, like, how important is latency? Like, for me, it's super important. Uh, let's say you wanted to put some kind of uh, uh, LLM uh, into a game, and you can interact with NPCs, right? Uh, let's say I asked an NPC a question. If that NPC took like 10 seconds to respond, I would just get bored right away, right? So I think that actually the inference is gonna be very important when putting Gen AI into production, right, going forward. How to manage infrastructure costs and scale. NVIDIA NIM delivers the features critical to easy, scalable deployment of generative AI models. NIM is a set of accelerated inference microservices that enables organizations to run AI models on NVIDIA GPUs anywhere, in the cloud, in the data center, and on workstations. Yeah, so that's very flexible, right? 
so you can do any kind of model that we looked at in the API catalog that could be speech, visual, we can do LLMs, we have some other industrial models you can deploy anywhere in the cloud, in the server and locally. So yeah, pretty cool. And PCs. Built on a cloud native stack, you can deploy NIMS locally with a single command or orchestrate and auto scale with Kubernetes, unlocking the flexibility needed for modern AI workloads. NIM provides identity, metrics, and health check data for integration with enterprise management tools and infrastructure. Yeah, I think that's important too, that you can actually monetize uh, or monitor what is actually happening in your, yeah, your NIM. Backed by powerful inference engines, including NVIDIA Triton Inference Server, TensorRT, and TensorRT LLM, NIM streamlines model deployment, ensuring seamless AI yeah, so there's just one more thing. Uh, I think uh, NIMS also support uh, LoRa adapters that we can also saw on the Apple uh, uh, WDC, is it called? Uh, they have these LoRa adapters. So I think the NIMS also support that, so that's pretty cool. Inferencing at scale. And with standard APIs, developers can build enterprise-grade AI applications with just a few lines of code. So you can see, it does support kind of the format that at least I am used to when running uh, code with GenAI. So from OpenAI, import OpenAI, and we support this very easy way to actually call uh, an LLM using this uh, completion create here that we are pretty used to from OpenAI. And I think that's really cool, as you will see soon at the end of my video. Part of NVIDIA AI Enterprise, NIM is the fastest way to achieve generative AI inference at scale, empowering organizations to innovate with the latest foundation models, deploy anywhere with security and control, streamline application development, accelerate inference, and cost-effectively scale out of the box. Get started today at ai.nvidia.com. Yeah, I think that was pretty good. Uh, I'm going to link uh, leave a link in the description if you want to read more about it just follow that but yeah that is basically nvidia nim uh, but now let me show you kind of how we can deploy this and how you can test it out and see what we can do with it okay so now let's go to kind of each step you have to do to deploy your nvidia nim so if you scroll down here you can see how to deploy nim in five minutes before you get started, make sure you have all the prerequisites. So if you take a quick look at what those exactly are, you can see here uh, you need an NVIDIA GPU, right? Uh, a CPU, x86-64 architectures. You need a Linux distro, that could be Ubuntu, yeah, whatever. It just has to support the NVIDIA container toolkit, right? You need a CUDA drivers installed and in this page, every link to how you can do this is included. So you can just follow this. You need to install Docker and the NVIDIA uh, Container Toolkit. So I'm going to show you this in an already created environment to actually run this that I have been using from NVIDIA to actually show you how this works. So you can see here we have run this uh, command that is up here, the Docker run, run NVIDIA Vintime, GPUs, Ubuntu, NVIDIA SME, right? So you can see here you can see we have a uh, GPU assigned. That's an NVIDIA H100 in this case. This could be your local GPU, so I have a 4080, so if I run this locally, I would see that uh, version of my GPU, right? So let me just show you now how easy it is to get started. So we can just follow this setup and installation here. So the first thing I need is an API key, right? So to get that, I can go back to the NVIDIA Builder site, so let me quickly show you how you can do that. So I'm just going to go to buildnvidia.com where we actually checked out the API catalogs, right? And if I just click on some kind of model here, so let's click on Llama 3. There is something called, uh, if I turn off the dark reader here, you can see get API key. I can just click on that and I can generate a key as long as I am actually logged into my account here that you can create, right? And when you have your API key, we can go back to our environment. And we're going to run this command here, right? So let me just copy that and go down to our terminal here. I'm just going to fill in my API key. So down in the terminal here, I'm just going to do export and my API key. So this has been revoked, so there's no point trying this. So I'm just going to click enter, right? And that has is uh, ready to go. 
And then we have, uh, you can see we have something here to launch the container for our model. In our case, the container is a name is going to be Meta Llama 3 8B. So that is the model we are going to run in this case. So what I can do, I can just copy this command here to start our container. And I can go down here again to our terminal, paste in the command, just click enter, right? And now we are kind of launching our NIM, right? And you can see the port has been forwarded to 8000 as we gave instructions here in the command, right? You can see we have port 8000 here. Perfect. And we are just firing up this container now. And if you scroll further down here, you can see it now our NIM is actually running on this address, right? So yeah, perfect. And this means that we are ready to use our NIM now. So let me show you some uh, ways we can do that. So I'm going to go into a Jupyter notebook here that is kind of pre-created. We can run this curl command here to actually see if our service is ready. And when I run this, you can see, yep, we got that response. So that means we are ready to go. And we can check all available models. And we can see we have the Meta Llama 3 8B instruct model that is ready for us. So what is nice about this is that the NIMS, uh, like I probably said before, supports the OpenAI chat API. And that is nice because you can use it on your previous scripts, right? So you can see an example here. If we want to run this, you can see we have our base URL. That is our port 8000, right? We don't need an API key. So we're just going to call this endpoint here. And let's test this and see. So you can clearly see, yes, this is working. Here we have a version that is actually going to stream this, basically the same request. So let's send the request and you can see this is streaming. So that means that our NIM is actually working now and we can start getting some information back from Llama 3.8b. Uh, but this was already a created version. But I want to show you is how you can actually take this and use this on your already existing uh, scripts you might have, right? Okay, so here you can kind of see this is an existing script I have that is using the OpenAI uh, API. We are running GPT-4. Let's do it GPT-4, all right. So you are an expert at writing short, compact, secure Python code. And we have a assignment here. That's a prompt. Write a secure Python code to sort the following list, right? Uh, pretty straight uh, setup. We are using some rich console markdown and stuff. So let me show you if we run this now. We can do this locally, python old script.py, right? We are using GPT-4.0, and here you can see we have the generated code, right? So this is working. But how could I actually turn this in and run it on our NVIDIA SME now? So that is a very easy thing to do. Uh, we're going to have to remove our model. Uh, we don't need an API key, but we can just set it to maybe like uh, not used or something like that. Uh, we need to add something called base URL right uh, equals uh, so let me just go grab that URL we need and as you remember this was this string here right the HTTP with the port 8000 pretty simple to grab that and uh, now we only have to grab uh, the model we are going to be running right and that is going to be the Meta Llama 38B instruct so let's save that and that should be it so what we can do now is just copy this our already existing code we can go back to our notebook create a new notebook right and yeah let's just pick this uh, we might actually need to do like a pip install rich because we are using this library let's paste in our code here and yeah that should be it i think so let's run this first cell here to install our library okay that is done and yeah i think this looks good so let's just run this cell and hopefully it will work yes perfect so you can see how easy it is to just take your existing project and transfer this over to using nim when we actually have this uh, you can call it this open ai api uh, version of the api right so it's very easy to use and go. you can actually go back to your older scripts because we can use this OpenAI API structure here. So that's a big plus for me. I also created another script here, basically the same, 
But just for fun, I added some uh, some token counter here. So if we run this now, you can see this is streaming. And we did 80 tokens per second. In this case, I don't think the GPU has time to even spin up. So we won't get this crazy speed, I think. But yeah, it's quick, right? But uh, yeah, you can do basically whatever you want with this. And you can even run it uh, locally if you wanted to do that. That might be another video. But uh, yeah, pretty cool and very easy to work with. And that is the idea right behind the names that it should be easy to deploy. It should be secure. It should be ready for production. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed by this to be honest. So if you think this looked interesting, definitely go check it out. There's a link in the description you can follow to learn more. Uh, I will be deploying a, a local version of Nim coming up soon, I guess. Uh, in a video so we can explore it more there uh, but yeah like I said definitely go check it out it's very interesting and I kind of like the concept here easy way to production that is kind of what we want right so yeah uh, thank you for tuning in and have a great day and I'll see you again yeah in a few days